This is Doug Mayo from the Jackson County Extension Service. We're here at the Panhandle Peanut Short Course. Uh, and with us today we have Clyde Smith who's going to talk to us about pest management in our peanut crop for the upcoming year. Well thanks Doug. You know we had uh, Dr. Jay Farrell join us via Polycom today but we, he talked about weed control and I talked about insect control and when we look at weed control for the last several years it's really meant Palmer amaranth control and we know now that we can control Palmer amaranth. We've got some good technologies out there to do it with the Valor herbicide early in the season. Not planning on that to carry us the full season and making sure we use some dual in there uh, and some Gramoxone and then following up with either a, a Cadre and 2,4-DB or with Ultra Blazer or Cobra as a later season application. So keeping it out. Uh, some of the other things that, that Jay talked about that we can do is some deep tillage. Deep tillage is not going to eliminate our problem. And when we say deep tillage, we really mean turning it with a moldboard plow. And you really want to bury that seed, and what it does is bury some of that seed. Uh, Palmer amaranth seed is only viable for probably 18 to 24 months, and so if you can bury it for a couple of years, it gives you some time to fight that population and uh, bury it deeply. Uh, <clears throat> so we know that we, we can get a little bit better control by doing that. And then they also talked about using a weed wiper. Uh, not all weed wipers are created equal, so you need to look at uh, the folks that are out there using this technology and find one that's working and fine tune it because it's, a, it's really an art in how to use those things, but using Gramoxone and a 50-50 mix to control uh, Palmer Amaranth with a weed wiper is a viable option, uh, but you don't need to depend on it for your entire weed program. When we also look at insect control, and a lot of people for the last 10 or so years, we really haven't focused a lot on insect control in peanuts for a couple of reasons. One is because peanuts are so hardy, they, they usually don't take a lot of damage from, from insects year in and year out. And the other reason is we've had such high yielding varieties and we put a lot of other inputs into them uh, that we really haven't noticed any yield loss that we might be getting from peanuts. Last year though kind of brought it back to our attention that when you get into very stressful conditions that you can end up with a lot of insect damage as well. And, over in Georgia, they saw some problems with burrowing bug in a lot of areas, and we saw that as well in Jackson County, as well as uh, European corn borer and uh, lesser corn stalk borer, giving us some damage in some of these, uh, these highly stressed fields. So the problem we run into with the insects is there's not a whole lot of good in-season options. Uh, using Lors Band granules is one option for us. Unfortunately, most of our insect problems show up in dry land fields, and they show up during the time of the year when it's hot and dry and you're not going to be getting a whole lot of rainfall. So you do need to think about insect damage uh, and even if, if Lord's Bane granules are not the best option for control out there, then they still give you some breathing room and some control. As well, when you're looking at uh, burrowing bug, if you think you have a field that has issues with burrowing bug, which tends to be in a uh, high organic matter dry land situation, uh, conservation tillage, then if you're using uh, tell on for nematode control, typically that's going to give you a, a good bit of burrowing bug control and we shouldn't have as much problems with it there. But in reality, we don't really know what some of the more effective uh, insect control options are for us. But we do know we have Lord's Band for some of the other caterpillar pests. Uh, we have some pyrethroids and, and uh, uh, tracer and, and, uh, and some other products that do a very good job of controlling caterpillars. The bug is, is probably the one that we know the least about and what we can do. So from that standpoint, having a decent plan and thinking about insect control, uh, this year is probably the year that's going to pay you because prices being up right now, inputs haven't, uh, chemical inputs haven't gone up a tremendous amount. Uh, fertilizer inputs and crop inputs are, are pretty high. So from that standpoint, have a plan and work the plan. Good advice from Clyde Smith, Jackson County Extension. Uh, like all these topics, there's more information available on the web and also uh, if you want uh, more information on controlling Palmer amaranth, other weeds and insects, uh, give us a call. We'd be glad to help.